Well, I was a good boy this morning. I got my good boy sticker from Sunday school because I didn't get out of my seat. So I did pretty good. You got to be proud of me. I get pretty I get a little bit excited. You guys know I can get excited, all right? Because, you know what? I love the Lord, and I'm excited in the Lord at all times. You know, and I love to spread that gospel. I love people to get excited in the Lord. That's, you know what? We should be. Amen. All right? And, and, you know, on Wednesdays, I get excited because, you know what? we got children back there that are hungry for the gospel, the true gospel of Jesus Christ and the truth of God's Word. Yes. The time we're getting life to. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to stand there and let them have it straight. Because they're going to get it from me the way God gave it to me. The truth. Amen. Praise I don't need God. to fluff it up. I don't need to make it pretty. Yep. I just need to give them the truth because that's what they're seeking and that's what they're getting from me. Yep. Because you know what? I'm not going to go before Jesus. And have him say, you led my children straight. There you go. I'm not going to Come on, brother. That. Come on. And you know, a lot of pastors are doing that right now. It upset me. You know, man. Well, I'm going to take you through one little lesson that I had with our children back there this week. And we've got some great children in the Lord. They excite me. They get me pumped up. I'm so glad that I'm in youth ministry because I'm just a big kid anyway. Duh. And I get to learn right along with them. And I get to have fun. I'm in. I'm in. But I love their beautiful spirit. And that's what God wants us to be. He doesn't want us to be old fogies in the Lord. He wants us to be children in the Lord. Amen. Does he not? Come on. Doesn't he want that excitement in us? Being excited about him and giving him the glory and all this? Amen. I'm going to show you how to do that. Anybody got cell phones? Don't you lie to me. Lift them up. <laughs> Hold up your cell phone. Where's the pastor? I bet you the pastor's up. Where's the pastor? You got your cell phones, right? Okay, each and every one of those cell phones, I want you to look at it. It's fully charged, isn't it? It's got a full charge on that thing, doesn't it? You want to know why it has a full charge? Because by habit, every night I grab my phone. Don't even think about it. Not plug it in. Why do I plug it in? Because I know if it's not charged tonight, halfway through the day, it will die. There you go. And I Come can't on, use man. it. That's it. Come on. That's Come good. on. That's good. So, just out of habit, don't even need to think about it. I'll plug in my phone, and it will charge. And I sure will have a good functioning phone all day anymore. I know this. Well, you know what? We need to recharge our spirit as well, church. Why don't we plug in our spirit every night as well and arm ourselves for the things that we are going to face tomorrow in this world? Yeah. You do it to your phone. You do it to your spirit. Amen. Jesus says, renew yourself in my spirit each and every day. Die with me. Get rid of the human self and recharge yourself in the spirit Amen. so you can fight this world and what it has to offer. And you will not sin against God. Amen. Am I wrong? No, I'm not. Says, I had a wonderful study with my children this week, my teenagers. You want to know what we talked about? Well, the most important thing we need to talk about is sin. All right, it's not a fluffy subject, but my children aren't going to get a fluffy subject. We're going to get the reality of what goes on in their life and the consequences thereof. And they're going to learn how to reach out to God. So that's what you think of come to this week. Because God will always make a way out, right? He's always going to make a way out. So we were talking about sin. Man, we got no sin. And they were asking about sin. And you know what? I have listened to preachers. I've listened to you pastors bring it out like that. Say when they talk to sin, say, don't worry about it. You're still young. It's not coming. You know what? The <laughs> church, a few oh. times a month, you're saved. Everything's going to be okay. You know what? Oh. You're still have a wonderful life. You know what? And we'll just, we'll work on it. Go ahead and fake it until you make it. We're going to be just fine here. No. I don't know about you, church, but you want to know how that guy's sermon always ends? And for 49 dollars you can 
front like a bitch version of the Bible, that is the easy stuff to love you the way it's life. A church, I do not want to face Jesus. I pray for that man for what they say to our children. That's it. And because it ain't life. That is what they need to learn. They need to learn that sin is sin and it's wrong. Right. It hurts God when they're doing it. So I gave you an example that every teenager we all can relate to of a certain situation of sin. I think we all can understand. I said, I said, let me give you a scenario. Here's what we're going to look at here today, children. I said, think about getting out of the house, going to a party, drinking a thousand bucks. Yeah. I said, explain to me the sin in that. And where does it go? How painful is that to our Father in heaven? 
We sit there and tell her, not to have to on this. Yeah, get back to you. I'll call you when I need to. That's wrong. But that's the reality of sin. And how easily our children are trying to That's right. How easily we get back in the How easily we can throw away the most precious thing in the world.
And this is where we decide where we want to lean, church. You want to be a sheep or a goat? There you go. Because this is what the nation said. Jesus, in all His glory, comes down from the heavens yeah. with all of His angels, and He sits on His throne of glory. He will gather His people unto Him. Glory to God. He will gather His people unto Him. Now, He's not saying just the church of those who have made themselves ready, because you better do it, church. You better make yourself cry that has made herself ready, that is unscathed and white as snow. Saved by the blood of Jesus. Glory. Glory. And study in His Word. But He will grab all His children and bring them unto Him and He will set those to the right and those to the left. And He will have His sheep and His goats. And He will say unto them, I was thirsty. And they will go out and come to you. Hey, I was naked. You clothed me. I was a stranger and you took me in. Here you go, church. All of God's people, the goats and the sheep, will answer these questions the exact same way. Verbatim, by word. They will say, when did we see you thirsty, Lord? When did we see you hungry? When did we see you naked? I've never seen you in prison. When were you ever a stranger to us?
all the three attachments led by the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that, <laughs> that 
don't run around and say, you me, 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 I, 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 don't care about anything. They will run off, run around, do whatever they want, go and hide, not listen to what the master has to say, and they will go and do whatever they want. Then the wolves come in, eat them, and they're going, what happened? Where were you? You did not protect me.
<laughs> because I wanted to. And I played inside that place and not get down each and every chance I could get. When God called me, I could not go to the I could not go to the He wanted anything to do with my life because I want to play and do the things that I want to do. I got everything in control. Everything's going to be all right because I got it. Well, it didn't work out. Because God says, I got better things for you. I've got more love for you. You are my lawful sheep. You're not a Billy Goat. You're my Billy Sheep. I'm coming after you. I'm going to grab you by your little tail. I'm going to knock you down. I'm going to pick you back up and let you know that I love you with all my heart. You're going to change your life forever. And you. Well, I got all that out of you. I got all that out And he's gone as low as you can go.
all I need to be is your spirit. Break your shelf. Play your loved one. Walk like someone says, Jesus loves you. It doesn't matter what they say. I do the one. It doesn't matter what they say, it doesn't Kobe. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, precious Jesus, precious Jesus, precious Jesus. Precious lamb, precious lamb, precious lamb. I will give you all that I have. Save my loved one. How many of you happy? Walk in the Spirit of the Lord and you will be victorious. Amen. Stand with me. As we go to our homes, remember tonight and pray before you come to church. And let's let the Spirit of the Lord have His way in every service. Amen. Shake hands, hug a neck, and be friendly. And you know what? You are loved. <laughs>